Welcome back to Pikmin. Getting only one piece in one day. It's kind of <laughs> lackluster, so let's pick that up. Pick those up, you mean. Let's Pikmin these up. Let's Pikmin it up, bro! Oh, why do we come back here? No! Seems so empty. Don't worry, we don't have to deal with the smoky prog anymore. It's it's dead, it's gone. It's now only just a distant nightmare. Now he's gotta worry about everything else here. Mm-hmm. <coughs> There's quite a bit that we can get done right now. Which is good, otherwise, you know, it just just be a waste of time, honestly. Sit around, <laughs> twiddle your thumbs, yeah. Yeah. So, um, this puzzle I never understood as a kid, but when I'm an adult, it's, it's one of those where it's like, oh, God, I was stupid back then. I thought you needed yellow Pikmin go one at a time across that walkway that Olimar just went to and throw one each time, but then have an army of blues catch your yellow Pikmin when they inevitably fall in the water and then you individually take, you know, one of each yellow Pikmin back and then you realize that you're a very dumb kid who didn't understand puzzles or how the mechanics of the game worked. Well, you lost me, so, uh, you yeah, know, there's that. So just imagine a lot of Pikmin drowning instead of the actual solution, which is literally this. You command them with the D-pad all the way up here, and then have them go idle so that they pick up the ship part, and have blues do it because they won't drown when they pick up the part and drop it into the water, like this. Watch up! <laughs> oh, jeez! I found the red paratype bolt. It's about to fall in my face. I found the red. I found the repair type. <laughs> See, now that it's down here, it's perfectly fine that, you know, these guys are down here. Because I could just throw them back up, and there we go. There's one piece already. Yeah. All right. Good. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to get stuff done today. Let's get it done, then. Getting it done, man. We're going to get massive amounts of shit parts, believe it or not. There's so many parts in this area, and it has a nice little, like, little cutoff. Like, a, the second half of this place, we won't even get to today, because there is so much crap that needs done Shoot. on both sides. Idiot. <laughs> Walked right into it. Come here. Here we go. Cross the bridge. There we go. Remember in Four Stars Adventures, you could press a button and then your links would automatically line up and do a into a formation. One of the greatest mechanics, yeah. You need to do something like that with these guys. Like, all right, everybody in two lines. Okay, everybody in a square. All right, everybody, uh, just go in a circle. Just not stop being dumb, please. Now, uh, I actually really hate these enemies, but only in Pikmin 2, because right now they're just like normal bulb orbs and they, you know, they eat a lot of Pikmin. You know, you'll, you'll lose a few when you when you fight some of these guys. But, uh, in Pikmin 2... So, let me go ahead and kill it real quick. These guys are the fastest respawning enemies in the game. Of as course in, they are. As in tomorrow, we'll see, like, a little offspring to take its place. Massage machine! Ooh. Oh, hell yes. Set it up, let it go. As you can probably guess, this is an optional piece. Caring not for the lumber support of the Pikmin, of course. Yeah, screw the Pikmin, they're my minions. Also, you saw them just walk into water. Idiots. But, uh, that's Body Ball Bear. In Pikmin 2, he slowly gets his health back if you don't harvest him. Oh, Christ. I'm so sorry about this. He's got all these minions. He's a bald dude. Despicable me. Uh, hold on, hold on. I have an empty bottle of Mountain Dew. I'm going to throw it virtual you. Ow! Oh, shit, that actually hit ah. my monitor. 
<laughs> oh, oh, I felt that one. Jeez. I wasn't aiming for my monitor, and it made a weird... It, it looked weird. Everybody keeps throwing stuff at me because I keep telling bad jokes. Yeah, day in the life of me, huh? <laughs> Just, you know, the huge. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. How many years have I dealt with this? Quite a few. And how many more will you deal with? Uh, quite a few. Maybe two or three. Nisko and UDJ, done in two years. <laughs> Look forward to the grand finale of Nisko and UDJ. It'll probably it'll probably happen when we uh, play another Goemon game, if any more exist. Uh, actually, I don't know about the end of our channel. How could how could that ha how could the end happen? Well, we already joked about being canceled, so that's not topical anymore. Um. Hmm. What if we put up a poll and ask people, how would you like us to end? Hmm. How, yeah, how would you see the collaboration of UDJ and the Niskel ending? Like, comment, and subscribe to find out. <laughs> I'll take a poll. I'll get those results. But you have to be sure to like, com comment, and subscribe. Well, really, uh, I think the the best way that we'll end is when we look at our game collection and look at the other game collection and realize there's nothing more we want to play. You know, I was actually thinking about that. Like, before the uh, hot garbage fire known as 2020 actually started, I was looking at ideas of games that you and I could do. And as I looked, I realized... The list is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> I mean, more games come out, and, you know, we'll add more to that, obviously. I will say, the... the... F the want to play a game shortly after it comes out, depending on what kind of game it is, like, slowly goes down as you experience more of the game. Because there's a game I'm playing right now that I can't fucking wait until I start, like, showing it to people, but man, it's gonna take a lot of prep work. Well, I guess as long as we still have the passion to do it, then we're good. Yeah. Some days are better than others. Yeah. I was like, oh, hey, a grinding spot. <laughs> How can we make grinding funny? Well. A silly, uh, silly song in the background and a fun story in between. <laughs> get used to fast forwarding. That's how you get through a lot of grinding. What game are you wanting to play, anyway? Fucking Show the Final masses? F Final Fantasy VIII? God, Final Fantasy VIII. You know, I've actually... I have not played a Final Fantasy game since... 6 on the DS. Sorry, so, 4. 4, excuse I, me. So I liked Final Fantasy VIII. I don't love it, but I like it. Mm -hmm. But I, could, I, can't, I can't play it. <laughs> it just got so... God damn long, and it's just like, oh, gee, I can't. And and I like I like my long RPGs. I'm I'm a I'm a Dragon Quest guy. Always have been, always will be. But Final Fantasy games they just go on for fucking ever. Sometimes they just meander so much. Now the one thing I'm curious about is I started I actually started watching a let's play of uh, Final Fantasy VII remake just to see if it would be something like a game I'd be interested in to play on my own or if I just. You know, watch somebody give me the uh, Discovery Channel version of it. I gotta say, it's winning me over. I want to play it. And that's the point of a Let's Play, by the way. I have no desire to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know. Because I know it's 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 gonna be it's it's episodic, which already threw it's already threw me off already. It's like episodic. Well, then it's gonna be like twenty thirty eight by the time the final installment comes out. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and pick up, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake, the story so far, for like 20 bucks one day. God, that would suck. I say that now because I can now buy every single Kingdom Hearts game that they want to give me in one package for like 25 bucks. Yeah. I know. But you gotta think, that's like, what, 10 years worth of Kingdom Hearts? Jesus. Ten years and it's almost twenty four games. <laughs> oh god, Kingdom Hearts is almost twenty years old. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Such humble beginnings it had, and then it turned into... Whatever it is now. It only had its technical third installment a couple of years ago. No, that was just last year. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how our that's how our town's gonna end when we're so old we're no longer relevant. <laughs> like if I'm playing a GameCube game that came out in 2001 in the year 2020, I'm already reeling back for games that I grew up with. So eventually I'm gonna run out. Maybe I could just be. You know what? I've, I've seen a few people do this, so maybe I'll I'll get onto that cash cow. <laughs> Go on to Binding of Isaac and play that forever. <laughs> Never or, you know, stop. Play Fall Guys forever. Hold on, what yeah, was it? We'll, uh, we'll probably find. We'll, we'll, we'll probably always find something. There's always some good idea around the corner. There's always something. And you know, if this whole YouTube thing just implodes on itself, which I have a feeling, give or take five years, it'll just shut down in an immense Armageddon. Uh, you know, streaming's always an option. There's always games to play. Never any shortage of games. Never. Never. And, yeah, actually, uh, I'll be brutally honest here. Even though I, I mentioned that this year has been a dumpster fire, it's actually been kind of a great year for games. It has. For w what few have come out, that is. Yeah, for, for, like, the few, like, huge titles that have come out, these are, like, like, blockbusters. You fucking idiots! Why did you follow me into the water? And now you're dead. What do you think about that? Well, not much, because you're dead! Yeah, sorry, just... Pikmin rage. Get over there. <sighs> anyway... What are you? You're huge. 50 That's kicks? Good lord. A... Is that like your engine or something? Uh, pretty much. We're gonna see a, a massive upgrade in the dolphin's look after this. See, there's all these rock walls all over the place, and it's just annoying. Oh, um, somebody corrected me on something, and I'm glad you did, because I didn't know about this. Um, I mentioned that there is a bomb rock, uh, AI glitch, basically, for Yellow Pikmin. Where if you split them all up into groups, uh, back in the GameCube version, when you whistled for your uh, bomb rock Pikmin, there was like a 50% chance that they would just all drop their bombs and then immediately scatter. That doesn't happen anymore in the Wii version. So they fixed it. Oh, good. Yeah. And, uh, speaking of bomb rocks, I have currently run out of usable bomb rocks on this side, so we're gonna have to go exploring in the second half of the distant spring. Tomorrow? No man's land. Hmm. The most dangerous part of the distant spring is beyond those bomb rock walls. Will we be able to manage it? Well, I hope so, because otherwise it'd be kind of a dumb let's play. What do you mean you didn't beat the game? No, I didn't beat the game. It's too hard, dude. We just we just stop here. That's it. Just just stop right just here. Just right here. Just right here. Episode 12, day 14. Stand it here. You've seen enough. Go buy the game now. Oh my god, I would hate that. If ten people comment saying they bought the game because of me, I'll continue the Let's Play. <laughs> god, to be so scummy. Shareware Let's Plays. Ooh. Oh, ew. It's like, we'll, it's like we'll, give, we'll give you the first third of the Let's Play, but then if you, pay the, if you pay $14.95 <laughs> through credit card, we, we'll, we'll send you <laughs> the rest of the Let's Play. It just reminds me of when, I think it was Darkseid Phil, he stopped playing Persona 3 at the final boss because it was too hard. I, you know, I'm no stranger to stopping games because they're too hard. But if you're right there at the final it's, boss... You're right there! You're just, right there! <laughs> come on. I think I even made that joke during Persona 3 when I did it. 
I saw the final boss. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. It's too hard. <laughs> oh, God. I think he eventually did go back and finish it due to fan demand, which I never thought he'd listen to his own fans. Oh, Does he even like his own fans? I seriously doubt it. He's still posting like 20 fucking videos a day, by the way. Of course he is. And now he's into streaming. Oh, man. Yeah, that's how our channel ends. We become Dark Side Phil. Look, I can hardly get one video out a day. <laughs> You either die, uh, Chugga Conroy, or you live <laughs> long enough to see yourself become the Dark Side Phil. That's what I've been striving for! I'm a big fan of Chugga Conroy! That's why I put so much effort into these videos. And then I bring you along, and then it just goes down the fucking crapper, so... <laughs> I guess we're ending now! <laughs> I'm gonna go jack off on stream. <laughs> Please, no. Please, no. Kids, just remember, if you're going to immediately go do something adult after your stream, make sure your fucking webcam's turned off. There. Make I sure said. the stream is actually over. Yeah, yeah, actually hit that stop button. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Streaming is not that hard. God. Oh, hey, we did it. Hey, yeah, we did it. We made it through a day. We made it to sunset, like the sunset on our Let's Play careers. No! I've still got so many more games I actually want to play for the masses. Yes, but if we threaten to leave, that's going to help drive up viewership. Oh, fuck that. God, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, we're not leaving yet. Not just yet. Like, the day I say, you know, I quit unless you watch more. If I hit 100,000 likes, I'll, <laughs> I'll actually... A come back. <laughs> God, I'd be such a dickhead. That would be disgusting. <laughs> Thing is, I think Rad Brad actually tried that. It's like, I'll post part two if I get 100,000 likes. Fucking who? Exactly. Apparently he's some big Let's Play YouTuber. He plays the games, he makes the jokes, but does he actually know anything about the game? Absolutely not. See, I don't watch any of these, you know, big, important, like, you know, the, the most big, important channel I watch is Game Grumps. That's it. And that's just if you need, like, something to, like, giggle at for, like, ten minutes apiece. Because I've, I've been a, I've been Aaron Hansen's fan since, like, high school. Yeah. So I'll follow him to the ends of the earth. Yeah. For years. It's like, even if he, even if he goes on Joe Rogan's show, Well, guess I better watch that now! <laughs> Can you believe we actually met that guy? Yeah, I know. Y you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> Highlight of my life. I hugged him, and I always feel awkward about it. <laughs> I breathed the same air as Heron Hansen. Ah. He, he smelled like chestnuts. Oh. He went to a Wendy's, for God's sake. <laughs> and I still think the funniest part is we're in that video. We are, yeah. Yeah, we're in the video. I'm going to have you dig it up and show us where we are. Yeah. I'm not doing that. You guys can Damn do your it. own homework. Oh, fine. And this is where I go downhill is when I stop doing work for the people. <laughs> it becomes about the money, not about the Let's Plays anymore. What's wrong with you? Again, fuck that. It's never been about the money. I love games too much for that. Yeah, I think that's how we'll end. If we end, then we've hate video games. Yeah, good luck with that. You're stuck with us forever, audience. <laughs> Next time on Pikmin, more distant spring. Let's actually clean some stuff up. Like our career.